Make sure I'm streaming, as always. Welcome, welcome to the series of Iron Man, all the Fire Emblem games. And uh, sometimes we buff them and then things go poorly. This is, of course, the Sacred Stones, plus 20% to all enemy growths. Uh, last time, last time was supposed to be, especially considering the fact that I only did one chapter, last time was supposed to be a lot more simple than it was. Unfortunately, we lost two of our really good scalable units in Joshua and Franz. Um, I think I read this last time, so I'm going to skip this. Uh, so yeah, anyways, at the moment, we are down to six units. Now, on the plus side, we are going to be getting three new units on this chapter. Those being uh, Ephraim, Dazla, or no, sorry, Ephraim, Dussel, and Noel, who will hypothetically be useful to our army. But yeah, our, uh, <laughs> our combat force is waning. <laughs> this guy's 25 attack. Holy fuck. All right, I don't know how we kill that guy. This guy's got 27 attack with a devil axe. Holy shit. I already looked at Kalich and Volter has capped strength. I remember that. I looked at that last time. Yeah. Don't really know how we're killing these people. But yeah, we'll let uh, future me deal with that. What level is Cormac at the moment? 18. Okay. And he has pretty good looking stats. Uh, there's no one else to promote, other than Noel, of course, but we get him on this chapter. I'm gonna bring up... Uh, from WD... And Salad we trust. What's up, Wheelie? Welcome, welcome. Yes, indeed. We still have some units left. I mean, we're not, we're not flat out dead. But it's not looking pretty, that's for certain. But you never know. And I do think... If I decide, as I've said a couple of times, um, that I'm going to run this back, that getting as far as we can is actually pretty valuable, because seeing more of what the enemies look like is really valuable. Hey, Harful Peach, welcome, welcome. Hey, Seafair, nobody died yet. <laughs> Just give it like three minutes, and I think we'll be uh, seeing some deaths. I'm trying to figure out what the best approach is. I think moving to the left, obviously, killing Kalich is going to be a huge problem for us, but moving to the left, and at least securing Kalish's area, because that'll give a really good, a really nice area for Ephraim and his units to retreat to, uh, up to the north, e no northwest. I think is probably the way to go. Okay. Well, that's a good point. That's a good point. If we can get him to switch to the hand axe, which seems pretty easy, we can get the dragon axe. Now, as I, I don't know if you guys saw when I looked at his stats, but <laughs> these berserkers look fucking terrifying. But yes, that is a good point, and that could be really beneficial for us. Um, now, I'm locked in. Good, Matt. I'm locked in, too. We're not going to lose any characters. This is a no... Why does E1 have no items? <laughs> That's right. We, we got rid of all of his... Uh, can, I, can I buy Flux here? Okay, perfect. I am locked the fuck in right now, dude. This is a no loss stream. Now this chapter is pretty darn long. Can I buy lightning here? Perfect. This chapter is pretty darn long, so I would not be surprised if this is the only chapter we do today. If we get through it, that, that you know. Um, but yeah, I, I am locked in. No death today. Not a single one. I'll buy lightning for you too. Why not? It's probably pretty useless, but you know. So I'm going to bait the hand axe? Yeah, that's probably the approach, because I think it's going to be kind of, like, I don't know if we're necessarily going to get, uh, maybe Cormeg? So Cormeg's currently level 18. He's our last, other than Noel, I guess, our last, like, scalable unit. I guess there's Ephraim and Erica as well. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get him to 20, as I've been doing with all the characters. Although, at this rate, uh, as we've noticed multiple times, apparently getting people to promotion just leads to their deaths immediately. So maybe not promoting Cormeg is the way to go. There's a legendary sword to fight Kalich. Or to the glitch legend. Yeah. <laughs> we we lost Joshua just before just where we could have talked to Ismire. He couldn't fight Carlisle, which I don't know if he would have done anyways, but couldn't fight Carlisle. He couldn't meet with his mother, and then <laughs> and now he can't fight Kalich. So yeah, we, we did pretty good work there. I'm trying to think if it's better because we just don't have that many, like there's a lot of units to kill and we don't have that many items. What's in the convoy? I have a backup fire. I have an iron axe. I don't have a lance. I think I'm just gonna buy like 
An iron sword, an iron lance for the convoy, like another flux for the convoy, maybe another like lightning for the convoy. J just to make sure we don't like run out of stuff like what happened last time. We are locked in, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey Lord Genesis, welcome, welcome. Um for Excalibur? Uh Yes. I can use that to him. I mean, at this rate, if we lose him, Excalibur's just useless, right? So we may as well. What's the other thing? I have a sword. Well, she can't get to it. Yeah, we have nobody that can use the sword, but hypothetically Erica can do it when she promotes. And maybe Dusil can do it. Alright, so what's over here? Just a bunch of like Myrmidons and stuff. These guys don't look too scary. I mean, in conjunction, I'm sure they will be, but it's a Luna Man down there. That's a bit scary. Uh, what do you guys have? Just like Iron Blade, Iron Blade. There's no way I like W. It's funny because these, these unpromoted units actually look, still look pretty darn weak. I think actually Cormac doubles these guys. Yeah, he does. All right, Cormac, you can fight them, and then I guess I'll have Salad. God, we are just out of... <laughs> now, again, I mentioned this at the top of the stream. But the really nice thing is that we're going to be getting... Um, there's also a vendor on this chapter. We're going to be getting Ephraim, Dusel, and Noel. Now, the, the big get there, Dusel's pretty good, but the big get there, I think, is going to be Ephraim, who can be another one of these, like, physical combat units um, that'll be extremely beneficial for us. So, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I don't get doubled, right? Sells pretty fast. Yeah. Um, he's off for, like, oh, they're just, yeah, basically those. Now, Erica can also potentially get to level 20 here, but I don't think, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think you get the uh, the Lord promotion items until after the next chapter, not before it. Um, which kind of means that uh, getting her to 20 here isn't like the most valuable thing in the world, but, you know, it's not nothing. Okay. He wants popping, my guy. We love to see it. Uh, here, let's just have the... Oh, the Phantom can go over walls and shit. I forgot about that. Uh, maybe we can get Mr. Luna to go up here. I just want the Phantom to die because I want to summon him every turn. That's all I really care about. It's after beating Orson? Okay, that's what I thought. Usually I don't care too much about the promotion items for the Lords, but in this case I really do because they're going to be pretty necessary for us. <clears throat> There's also some, a bunch of wyverns on this chapter. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize they could go over uh, like cliffs like that. That's kind of sick. I was hoping Mr. Luna would get lured out, but whatever. My plan for this chapter is to be as tedious and grindy as I can possibly be. I don't think we can't do this chapter quickly at all. I'm not even really sure we could kill these bosses, to be honest. So. This is going to be a um, bait out reinforcements angle and then just see what things look like when it comes to Kalich and Volter. I think. <clears throat> Wait, they can't use the rescue command, but they can use the tape, take and drop command. That's really weird. That's very odd. <laughs> I did not know that. There, it's just a bunch of Iron Sword dudes. Do I still have that Sword Slayer? I do. I feel like I should burn the Sword Slayer, but... you Do you have a sword? No, he's just got axes. I was thinking maybe that could be our option there. But he does look pretty good fighting these guys. I will grant him that. I, I'll be honest. I, I feel like the Sword Slayer is like my arch nemesis. Not only do I keep dying to it, but I undervalue it to such a degree. Like, even now, I still think it's kind of useless, but it's really not. It's pretty busted. Now, granted, these mercenaries are, like, pretty ass. Oh, my God. Speaking of ass, hello, Eric. <laughs> now, there is a brigand um, that's heading down to this house, but I want to... I think it's, like, it's pretty soon that uh, Ephraim spawns, starting turn two, yeah. So, I don't think you ever really have to worry about this brigand. Like, I think Ephraim and Dusil can get to this house pretty efficiently, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, you can heal, right? Yeah. The fact that summoners can also heal in this game is just... Man, they are such a good class. You still don't have a javelin, do you? No, I should, <laughs> should really give him one. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I will heal you. Yeah, 
Yeah, Cormeg's not bad. Not bad at all. And the nice thing is the Delphi Shield, or I think it's called the Philly Guard or something. Yeah, the Philly Shield uh, doesn't need to be stolen. So the fact that we don't have a Thief, unlike in, you know, a game like uh, Farm 7, uh, means that we can still get it, which is really good because it means that Cormeg could be a, a beast. Um, which is really good because, again, we, we don't have a lot of... <laughs> We don't have a lot of beasts around here anymore. Even Iron Blade? Alright, well I can kill you pretty easily. I suppose that'll open you up to attacking Natasha. Eh, just stay where you are, Cormag. It's probably fine. Yeah, whatever. That building behind the, beyond the dunes is Jehenna Hall. I expect that's where we'll uh, find Erica and her companions. Do so, Null. It's time we rescued Erica. I'll need your strength. Of course, Your Highness. I pledge my service and my axe. You shall have both. Princess Erica, she's a friend of Prince Lyons, isn't she? I'll do what I can to help you. I feel like uh, that is what the prince would want. The enemy's numbers are great, but we do not need to face them alone. We must move quickly to join forces with Erica and her company. I'm sure Seth and Innis will be <laughs> waiting for us. Ah, oh, yikes, let's move. Uh, you know, Erica's there. I couldn't say that much. Your last video. There's still hope left, maybe? Yeah, that probably would have been a better title. I was like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking that I would keep titling the vi videos for as long as they go. Just like, maybe this is the end, you know, maybe this is the end. It's why I've kept my stream title as, uh, as the same. Because until we get a stream where there's no more deaths, I'm just lying with my stream title, so. I feel like I can't change it. here is oh is it effective actually wait the fact that no i don't think this is gonna work because it's 73 goddamn avoid but i mean it, it so is the sword slayer effective against like kalish because he's a hero even though he doesn't have a sword equip it's interesting <clears throat> sword slayer Dusel against kalish could be fun yeah so how good is Dusel? so we get Dusel, who is kind of a beast the problem with Dusel is he's such a high level and his i mean his stats are good but he just doesn't really scale I did give Natasha some uh, some lightning tomes, but that it, it is good that there's a vendor here, yeah, because I believe there's uh, there's shine there. What's well, not effect effective against Erica like Lynn? Interesting. Luke was not with us, so we get Noel, who's obviously pretty weak and has zero luck. But Noel's stats don't really matter because he can become a summoner. Um, and then we have the <laughs> he's level 15 with 15 strength, 15 skill, 15 speed. Um, yes, uh, Ephraim is gonna, I think, have to do quite a bit of heavy lifting this playthrough if we're gonna get anywhere. Now, Mr. Luna has 14 crits, and I have 14 luck. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. This guy's a bit scary, but I guess I'll just stay at his, kind of, radius. As long as Luna has no crit, I'm not that scared of it. So, eventually, reinforcements are gonna spawn all around where Ephraim and them start. <laughs> Excuse me, but, um, we should be well out of here at that point. Man, I got really excited because Cormac was looking pretty good fighting the mercenaries, but <laughs> now that he has to fight a real unit, he kind of looks like ass. It's okay, though. How does Natasha look fighting these guys? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Um, these guys are coming, huh? We also have these Pegasus Knights spawning. He should look pretty good fighting these Pegasus Knights. I I'm not really that worried about them. Unfortunately, I don't have a Javelin. <laughs> no, it's the key to all this. We can make him work. He's the funniest character we've ever had. Uh, how do I want to do this? I want to sequence it well for turns to come, of course. Can Salad fight these guys efficiently? Not particularly, I think. Mm. If I do this, I have to trade him off of the... Can you can you fight this guy? Can you do something here? Mm, not really. How do I want to do this? Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's do that. Yeah, not until turn 8, which is good, because we have a lot of time. <laughs> you know that, yeah. That's Null. Our wonderful little boy. Uh, okay, I'd like to kill this guy too if I can. Which, with your help, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Am I in range of this guy? No. We, we want to stay the hell away from him, especially considering he has a Dragon Axe and Cormac, of course, has a Wyvern. Now, the reinforcements can get a little bit sketchy, especially with the units that spawn coming at us uh, to begin with here, but I think we can probably deal with them relative efficiency. 
Um, how much can you do? Like with the rapier? Oh, you double. You just deal terrible damage. Is this support? Oh, I thought that was support. Uh, uh fire sounds pretty good, yeah. And then I can just kill with Erica. It's gonna be tough to find Erica kills, so even though I said I mentioned we don't get the promotion item until after next chapter, it is still gonna be pretty nice if we can get Erica to like 20 here. I think she's already like 17, something like that, yeah. Which isn't bad. Uh, just one of you guys can get to Erica, that's probably fine. And then you can get to Null, but you shouldn't double me or anything, so I'm not worried about that. And then you can't get anywhere. I suppose I can just murder you outright if I do this. And then I think that's probably fine. No, you're the boss. <laughs> that is true. When I was uh, when I was younger, I always really liked that. For some reason, I don't know why, but I always thought that you were supposed to defend that, which doesn't make any sense because Jenna Hall is like burning. But yeah, I don't know. When I was a kid, I always thought you were supposed to defend that. Ooh, okay, that wasn't. I looked at the 19. I got scared. Then to go Wyvern Knight. I think. Wyvern Knight's, uh, for the pl juicy plus three speed, I think Wyvern Knight's better, right, if I'm not mistaken? Like, maybe the fact that we get swords is enough reason to not, but I don't think so. I think, um, I think Knight's better. The plus three speed's really good, and then the, um, uh, you get that skill, right? You get, like, Pierce or whatever it's called. I feel like Pierce is more valuable than swords. So that's usually the, the way I approach it, but... Maybe swords are good. Yeah, these Pegasus Knights are gonna be... They're gonna be annoying, to say the least. Uh, how strong are they? are not too strong, right? Eh, 23 attacks, not nothing. Especially with these guys compounding. Um, I don't wanna do this. How do we look fighting them? I'm not gonna do this, obviously, because I'm gonna be in this guy's range. Oh, not quite. Uh, not too bad. I do trust Cormag to, to do that. And Natasha has seven defense, okay. In the gate made the route trivial, yeah. In normal, like, hard mode, both Innis and especially Salad are pretty darn strong units at this stage. Uh, yeah, I guess you should heal, right, because I want to summon, probably. Wyvernite's by far the better choice. Yeah, that's that's usually what I think. I think Wyvernite's the better choice for both Pegasus Knights and... I feel like that pure skill is just so good. Or at least it's, I don't know if it's like so good, but it's more valuable than just like not having any skill at all. Most of the skills in this game are pretty ass, if we're being honest. But the pure skill, I think, is actually pretty valuable. I wonder if... <clears throat> if you just go here, they have, like, zero hit, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't love this because it puts Erica like, pretty isolated. But other than the Pegasus Knight, I'm not really that worried about these percentages. Yeah, the Falcon Knight might have some stat advantages. That's a good point. I'm not as familiar with a lot of the, like, the stat gains. Uh, I'm more familiar just with, like, what skills and, like, weapons and stuff they get, so that might be true. But for the purposes of Cormeg, yeah, you definitely want the bonus speed, and then, yeah, Pierce is a pretty good skill. Yeah, speed, that's a, that's a really good point, Vin. Speed thresholds in higher stack games like this is the same thing that happens in, uh, Primal 6. Speed thresholds are crucial. If this was normal, um, Sacred Stones, maybe it wouldn't be as important, but... Speed thresholds for our purposes are extremely crucial. Okay, do you one-shot me? That's the question. 23, um, it's neutral because of the one defense. So 23 minus 8 is 15, which is not my life total. There is a small chance that she could die here, but, you know, it's not exactly uh, very high. Can you survive two hits? How much defense do I have? Seven. No, which is kind of a bummer. But I suppose I can just kind of shove Dazla here. Dazla doesn't take these hits well either, though, is the problem. Uh, I could just pick her up as well. Could kill this guy. But I think I'm going to be in range of these mercenaries if I do these myrmidons. Why doesn't everybody just go over here to help out? Maybe this, and then like, and then if we do... Okay, good. We do like this, maybe? I'm trying to make this as safe as I can. I mean, that's damage at least. Uh... I don't want to lure this guy out, so make sure we move the Phantom at least. That should be fine, and then Dazla... Uh... I guess... 
guess just do whatever you want. I don't know. I don't want to whack this guy because I take so much. I mean, the battle axe critting would be nice, but... There is a chance that Dazzle dies if I do that. I guess just go like... Just stay away from that guy. Just go like here-ish should probably be fine. I, I don't know. I think everybody's okay. Then I guess plus two and... We have three more con. Three more cons a big deal though. It depends, because again, this game like speed levels or, or speed situations like that just aren't as crucial as we talked about. So I'm not sure. I don't know what's better for Pegasus Knights, but definitely I think Wyverns are. That's the way to go. This is gonna look pretty ass, huh? Yeah. Looks that way. Well, thank God Dussel's here. I should turn on his animation. <clears throat> The kids support a triangle tech that you can still initiate. Wait, so so you can do triangle attacks with them or you can't? I don't know why you can turn on the Phantom's animation. I'm like pretty sure the Phantom does not have animation. But hey, I, I'm, I'm here to be proven wrong. It'd be pretty dope to see some Phantom animation. Jen Hall has fallen. I wonder what's become of Quentin Ismire. You there, take this and do some good with it. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, I should have kept that. I can just promote Null right now. But whatever, it's fine. Oh, this guy's also being broken. Yeah, Genesis, I think I think one of them will be lured by the... The only thing I'm really worried about, or potentially worried about, is like Natasha, but I think even she's okay. Okay, nice, we get to 10 strength. Yeah, I think I think definitely the I think definitely it's the way to go. Oh, can you die here? Yeah, you probably can, huh? I was kinda thinking that everyone uh eh, this is rough. Well, let's hope he dodges, I guess. Okay, that's unfortunate. Erica can't be here anymore. And another Pegasus Knight's gonna spawn. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I believe in Ewan. And there's also a slight chance that that guy rolls one damage less. He does, okay. I didn't do that math, so I'm not gonna take credit for, uh, for knowing that he wouldn't die there, but that's pretty lucky. Two or three Pegasus Knights need to be Falcon Knights. Oh. That's really weird. I did not know that. That is uh, very peculiar. Alright, these guys are going to get pretty scary pretty fast. Probably should have kept the Earth Seal so I could have promoted him. And I missed here. Which is a bummer. Uh huh. Maybe I shouldn't have stopped to get the village. I don't know if it would have gotten destroyed later. Can't really let Noel stop. Noel's gonna die if he stops to these calves, I think, pretty easily. I mean, maybe we can Nosferatu stall, but I think he'll get doubled. Yeah, he's up by seven, Jesus Christ. I need to kill this guy, I think. And then I can deal with the calves, potentially. But even that doesn't look that good. Um, I need to kill this guy. I wish Dusa would have hit last turn. <clears throat> Okay, he doubled the fighter, I know. He doubled the previous one, but yeah, they have the same speed. Nothing really looks that good here. I mean, if I could kill this guy, can, can you take... Hold on. 24, 22, <clears throat> minus... So you can take those two hits. The, the consistency here is just so bad. It's like a 72 in conjunction with a 68. I mean, that's not good at all. How much do you deal to Ephraim? 16? Okay, so I, I can live. Yeah, so Ephraim's actually fine, even if this goes a little south. Uh, yeah, this should be okay. Actually, can you reach me? Okay, Ephraim's not okay. 
Uh, well, I guess I can just put him out of all the range. If I do, yeah, let's try to hit this guy. Okay, that's a good hit. We retire the desert. Well, I was I was trying to move to the left. Well, that doesn't really work out. <laughs> I was trying to move to the left so I could protect Ephraim and his crew when they inevitably like went north, but that doesn't really panned out for me. Can you get to Noel? No, okay. So Noel should be good. And then Ephraim could take both hits, unless I'm just mistaken with the numbers. Uh, Erica needs to get out of here, or I need to kill this Pegasus. There's another Pegasus Knight, though. Uh, let's get a look. It's gonna get bad before it gets good. Um, there's still four pegs. Oh my god, and most of them have full health. And I can't go in that guy's range. Oh, and this guy's moving up. Ugh, we have a lot of problems, I'm gonna be honest. Does anyone have a solution, or is it just more problems? Erica can't take two Pegasus Knights, and the hit's gonna be higher. Well, 22 minus 7 is 15. Yeah, that's not, that's not where we wanna be. If I do this with Salad, he could die, which isn't great. I suppose I could summon... And have the summoned... The Phantom kill him? That's one less unit over here, though. Oh yeah, the great anima animation is super dope. I I agree. Who has a javelin? Just the one guy, right? Oh, that guy also has a javelin. Okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna summon. And then tell me you can kill this guy. You appear to be one short, my friend. Um, okay, well that's really unfortunate. I I will admit. Um. Shoot. Well, I was really hoping you'd be able to kill there. I suppose you can at least kill one of these guys. That's at least something useful you can do. Let me make sure I'm not in range of this fella. No, not quite. Okay, that's good. It's not every day you see a phantom kill an enemy, but, you know, here we are. Um, the problem for Erica is that she can kill this guy. Or can she? What if I use the iron sword? No, she still can. Can you one-shot? No. If you could one shot, I could just heal. Salad going over there is kind of a problem because he could die. Can I like also heal? Oh my god, there's so many problems right now. Not enough solutions. Um. Yeah, we need to heal Erica. She does have an elixir, so hypothetically, I don't need to move her if I kill this guy. That elixir is pretty, pretty important. The problem is if I put Salad over here, I think there's a chance that Salad could die. Actually, a pretty good chance. I could also have Natasha go over here and kill this fighter, and that would alleviate a lot of the pressure, but then I'm not dealing with all these Pegasus Knights. And Ewan's in a pretty dangerous spot. But I think the safest thing I can do here is probably this. Kill this guy. Then you heal. Then, uh, you kill this guy. I can kill this guy, right? Yeah. Then you kill this guy. Okay. You really fucking kill that guy. <laughs> um, and then... There's still one more javelin, so the safest thing I can do is this. Okay. I think that's just- I think that's the best I can do. I think that's the safest approach I can take. I think there's like, I don't think Natasha's, well, no, there's a chance that Natasha can die here. Okay, that's a good miss. Natasha was the most sort of like out of position there, but she has a lot of avoid and she just needed to dodge one of the two attacks that can come to her. So I think that was the the, the most reasonable approach I could take. Wait, Dazla isn't in Mr. Berserker range, is he? Dude, if Dazla could just, if Dazla could just double these steel lance, uh, Pegasus Knights, man, that would be really nice. You'd think you'd be able to, but apparently not the case. If you could just one round these guys, that would be, oh my god, that would be so cool. Fortunately, uh, that is not the case. Okay, this is fine. Good dodge, means I don't have to heal next turn. I think a lot of the pressure is going to be alleviated next turn. I, th I think we should be, as long as we kind of retreat to the left here, we should be in a lot better position starting next turn. 
Although this right side is still looking pretty scuffed, to be honest. But I can have Dazla go on the uh, the fort and kind of go nuts. I mean, as nuts as Dazla can go. <clears throat> These guys need to move up. Turn A is like still pretty far away, but it's not, you know, it's not something I can play around with. Okay, no more reinforcements from up here is pretty nice, I will say. What turn is it? Six? Yeah, we need it. We need to go. We need to go like right now. Uh, I need to kill this guy. Uh, just go up there, I guess. Uh, do you have? You do have vulnerary. Okay, that's good. How many people can reach me? Steel ant. Okay. Can Ephraim survive both? He has 10 defense. He'll probably attack with the Javelin, so that's 10 plus 13. But what if he uses the Steel Lance? That's 14 plus 13, which is evidently my life total. Yikes. Well, I'm already not doubling, so I don't think there's much reason not to do this. I need to kill this guy. I need to figure out a way to kill that guy. <clears throat> That's nuts. Nice. Nice. Okay, we need to we need to get over there like now. So <clears throat> Cormeg. Do you think Dazla can actually survive all this <laughs> being on here? I think he probably can, I believe. So Dazla go over here. Or sorry, Cormeg over here. And then we need to kill this guy, but only one person needs to do that. I won't double either of you. 17, 17, so I don't die or anything. Well, I'm gonna have to lure these guys out inevitably, so go ahead and do that. I guess. Do I get more if I'm on like the sand? I get five more void. All right, good enough for me. And then uh, Dazla go here, and I guess hand axe and then vulnery. Dazla's gonna have to pull some weight here. Let's just say that. Uh, so Natasha. Yeah, one could attack you, that's okay. I don't really care about that. Heal E1. I need to figure out a way to kill this guy. He does have an Iron Blade, so I think uh, Cormac could potentially do a good job and then kill this guy. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. We can take that hit. I wonder if I get doubled. I'm pretty slow. Okay, no, that's good. Yeah, it's a good point, Vin. Those palm trees are, uh, it's weird. Because they certainly don't look it, but yes, they are uh, <clears throat> forest tiles. This is the problem with having like unpromoted units like this, is you can't get over 20 speed. Once that mercenary's dead, then I think we have a pretty clear path. The giant dinosaur bones should be considered uh, mountains. Yeah, I agree. Alright, well, they can just hover around Dazla all they want. I don't really care. Yeah, the, the, all these percentages look pretty good. Nice! Okay, big out of Dazla. And honestly, levels to Dazla isn't like the worst thing in the world. Because every combat unit is important now. And if he even gets just a couple of stats, that's pretty valuable for us. Nice. So I don't mind him getting experience here. <clears throat> Putting inside a dinosaur ribcage is pretty dope though. But yeah, I feel like they should. Oh, I am getting doubled. Well, that's a bummer. <clears throat> now, Cormac, can you one round this guy? You can't even double. Okay, well, <laughs> I had higher hopes for you, but he can get past him at this point. Do you have any healing items? You do have a vulnerary. Okay, that is good. Um, Daz is still doing a pretty good job. I guess I'll just chuck a hand axe at one of these guys. I think he's doing fine. Dazla MVP, dude. Dazla, honestly, doing way more than I would have ever expected him to do. Given his stats. 53%, huh? Dusel is very slowly trudging through this. I can probably drop Ephraim at this point, and I can even heal him with Natasha. So, so, oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know if that came through. I just did a little, uh, little burp there. Dazla will be clutch. Not me, that's for sure. If you had asked me uh, a while back, I definitely would have said he's just straight up useless, but. Apparently not the case. Okay, we gotta be careful with Erica because she is hurt. Yeah, I'd like to avoid those mages if we can. Now the the Pegasonites are still very close to our main army here, so. So 
So I'm gonna... I don't think I need to heal Dusel. He has so much defense. Yeah, he's 17. And he won't get doubled now. Now, these guys being able to get to... Erica is kind of a problem, but I can heal her as well. I might need Cormac to help out here. Uh, let me drop you. How much health does he have? No, don't go down. Oh, he still has like full health. I don't even need to heal him. Okay. That should be fine. I wonder if I can have Cormac do this. The thing I'm scared of is this guy. Uh, it's a little safer if I do that. I need to kill- somebody needs to kill this guy. Let's start there. Okay, let's start here. Make sure this guy's dead. We don't have to worry about him. Uh, now... Natasha has 60 avoid. It goes up to 80 if I'm in there. Oh no, it doesn't go up to 80 because she's getting 5 and it goes up to 75. So these are like 20s. Okay, I feel good about that. So you heal Cormeg. And then Cormeg can kill one of these guys, which will alleviate the pressure a little bit. And I don't think he's really in any danger of dying. Dude, it's actually crazy that um, Dazzle is even alive at this stage. Like, we had to get extremely lucky for him, e for him even to survive his uh, his base chapter. La Rochelle died, obviously, but yeah, it's we got extremely lucky that. Like, I think I think some like pretty decent percentages missed or something. I don't really remember exactly how it panned out. And then I think we picked him up. And I had to like carry him around the map to avoid the uh, the Dread Knight or whatever it's called. So it's pretty crazy that he's even uh, around right now. I mean, I think there's like a very small percentage that Natasha could die here, but the percentages on the Pegasus Knights are going to be like 25s or something. Um, and I don't even know that two would- yeah, okay, now there's no way she dies. There is crit here with Dazla, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, against Dazla, obviously there's crit, you know, Dazla has crit. Alright, big level up here. Okay, I mean, there's no way Dazla's ever doubling anything, right? But a little bit of speed can go a long way as far as getting doubled is concerned. So, I don't hate that. Kinda wish he'd get some strength or something, but, you know. Or maybe luck, his luck is absolute ass. But I'll take it. Oh, I double now. Okay. Dude, yeah, the, the Great Knight animation. I will say the, like, standing animation for the Great Knight is a little derpy, but the attacking animation is so cool. Maybe just with the axe. The, the standing lance uh, animation is really cool. I don't know if I like the sword and the axe that much, but the attack animation is amazing. It's a little scary, but there's no way Ephraim dies here, so whatever. Dude, turns out having 17 defense goes a long way. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, we have to contend with these guys now, but we should be far enough away to at least sort of be able to figure it out. How strong is this paladin? Strong. Let's just <laughs> let's just leave it at that. Um. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, we can lure out these mages now, which will make this whole, like, area a lot safer. I'm assuming I take basically no damage from you guys. 21, 21... I have 17 res? Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, this is fine. Well, we're at least... We're not obviously like out of the woods with the chapter, but we're at least in the position I wanted to be, which is Ephraim and his crew safe and um, nobody dead on Erica's uh, side. So can't complain about our situation too much. Now these guys can actually probably get a little scary with Dazla, right? Because he has seven res actually isn't terrible. We're looking at a hundred hit. I have 44 avoid so We're going to be looking at 60s. Now only one, oh no, two can attack me. Oh, yikes. I do get the three defense, which means I actually have 10 res, which means they both deal like 10 damage. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Maybe we just, maybe we just eliminate all this stuff. I need somebody to go up and kill this guy though. I guess I don't need it. Um, 
<laughs> Kalich can move. Unless I'm mistaken, I believe Kalich. Okay, I <laughs> got you, Keskin. <laughs> it's like, I am pretty, pretty darn sure that he can't, but I have been wrong before, and I will be wrong again. So, even Axe Reaver, right? Do you, do you, do you have over 20 health? Yeah, as long as he has over 20 health, we should be okay here. I mean, I think we're okay. I think as long as Dazla, as long as we kill all three of these units, Dazla can't die to these guys. He can't attack back either because I can't trade him to the hand next. Well, I, su I suppose I could do this. But he should be okay. And then trade him onto the hand axe. <laughs> Look at Dazla's face. I love Dazla. It's actually taking a hit here, it doesn't matter. She has so much res. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. Now down here, this looks pretty messy, but I think we can clean this up pretty easily. Sal's gonna go kill this guy, um, which lure out those two mages, and not Kalish. <laughs> uh, and then you can chuck a javelin here. And then I can, oh, I don't have a healer for does. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to heal Dusel this turn, but it's okay. I will say, as shit as our team is at the moment, and it is, the one thing we- oh, did you just miss? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Diesel, did you just- did you just miss? Is that a thing you just did? Uh, hey, remember when I said that we didn't need to heal Diesel and then- and then I did that? Yeah. What's the percentage here? I believe. I have faith. Oh shit, I was oh I was supposed to I was supposed to trade Dusel onto the axe so we'd have weapon triangle. 17. I mean I think this guy is pretty likely to attack Noel, and he shouldn't double Noel, because he only has 10 uh, speed. I don't think there's any way Dusel dies here. Nah, I think he's okay. I mean it's a shame he doesn't have the axe, but I think he's okay. Uh Erica can I don't know, do whatever you want. You wanna talk to your brother? Yeah. Erica, brother, is that really you? You're not some phantom, are you? No, it's really me. Hold, enemies approach. Ephraim, even when we were children, you were always there to protect me. What is Salad have no animation? Uh, I think it's because he's been primarily my healer, and I usually just turn off the animations. Oh, wait. Does, does defense on forts not count for res? Am I just wrong about that? They missed anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I think that was the that was the one that needed to move. Oh no, I don't know. Yeah, does defense not matter for Rez? Maybe I'm just wrong about that. Um, but yeah, he was being like primarily my healer, but I can turn on the animation if we want. Same thing with Natasha, because they were primarily healing. Okay, he keeps getting, he's up to 17 speed. I mean, again, it, it's just, it's gonna be so hard. Um. It's gonna be so hard for him to double anything, but 17 means he probably won't get doubled at least. And maybe he'll double something. Only thrones give res. Ah, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Dude, I thought I thought forts gave res too, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I guess I just assumed. Yeah, this guy will attack Noel. There is crit, which blows, but there's no way Noel kills, so Noel's not in danger or anything. No way this guy should double. Unless Flux, Flux weighs like 10 more than I was expecting. <laughs> But now we're good. Now somebody's gonna have to choke this point, obviously. Um, the scary thing is that there's all those mages. The only thrones? Okay. No, that makes sense. I just, for some reason, I thought it was these guys too. All right, well, Natasha can do a great job, I think, dealing with these guys. So we should just get her on this. So Dazla back up. And then, yeah, Natasha. Yeah, go nuts. Go nuts, Chief. I guess we can turn on Natasha's animation because she actually is attacking now. We can just turn on everyone's animation. Fuck it. We don't have that many units, honestly. <laughs> Alright, either I need to replace Dusel or I need to get healed. Again, these mages. Well, I guess only the one mage moves. That's not so bad. And he is still choking. He needs to back up one. It's okay, though. It, these guys can't move, like, at all in the sand. Can you get a kill here? Yeah, <laughs> probably just don't risk that. Good lord, these mages are hella strong. Okay, that I will risk, because there is no risk. 
Oh yeah, we were talking about the um, we were talking about the the bishop uh, extra. Yeah, she must, right? I was kind of wondering about that because she seems to be getting a shit ton of experience. So you still have the hand next equipped, yeah. Unfortunately, Cordmite can't help me with, me with anything. No one has an elixir. I need to heal this turn. Oh, the problem is I can't heal and kill both enemies. Ugh. But you don't kill me, right? 19 minus 4. Wait, no, he she does. Or he does. Oh, this might be bad. I guess I can just heal Erica, but then I can't heal Dusa. Dusa with a vulnerability should be enough. Oh, the problem is a stupid mage. 16. Well, he's 10 res? My man. Okay. All right, Noel. I believe in you. It's an 80%. I mean, 80 percent are pretty consistent, right? Right? Yeah. I should promote Noel. Yeah, that's a good point. These levels are really irrelevant. Noel's a lot more useful if I just promote him. I really shouldn't have sent the uh, Earth Seal to the convoy. But honestly, him attacking this turn was actually pretty valuable. So we don't need to necessarily kill this guy, but I, I do have to heal Erica if I don't. Uh, and I don't think... I could Excalibur here. How many is 30 uses? It's probably not worth it. I guess I don't really need to heal Dusil, to be honest. Like, I don't think there's any way he dies here. <clears> hmm, <throat> maybe I should. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, we definitely want him to end up with an axe. That is a good point. I think killing that shaman is just so valuable. I think I'm just going to do it. Just kill him. Could Excalibur, but I really don't think Dusel's in danger. The big Dilf energy. <laughs> that little emote, too. <laughs> the big Dilf energy. He does, though. He really do, though. Oh, crit! <laughs> I don't know why that got me so excited, but that's actually pretty good. I don't know if I've seen... I haven't seen a summoner crit in a very long time. I didn't even know that's what it looked like, to be honest. Okay, well, that's good, because now we just get to uh, actually heal Dazla. Maybe a vulnerability would have been useful there. I don't know. This probably wouldn't heal to full. D Deuce nuts. <laughs> Wheelie is the, <laughs> is the most consistently uh, funny individual I know. <laughs> uh, it's never not funny. Alright, this looks pretty good. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. De Deus nuts. Alright, it's fine. There's no crit, which is surprising for Dazla. And then yeah, Natasha, I mean, it's not like she deals a ton of damage, but obviously she looks pretty good fighting these guys. I don't think there's too many more reinforcements. Like, I think this is pretty much all the reinforcements we're going to have to deal with. I think there's one more turn of shamans, and then that's about it. That is the one nice thing. That was the reason, ooh, good level up. That was the reason I thought maybe this chapter wasn't going to be too bad for us, because um, once you kind of deal with the reinforcements, it's, it's a pretty straightforward chapter. Oh, you're attacking me at one range. Wait, do you just want to die? Do I get doubled here? No, there's no way. Well, this is kind of good because it means we're going to be able to kill this mage pretty easily. And that's kind of the one thing that's still scaring me. Um. Now, I mentioned this before. Killing Vulture and Kalich? Don't know. <laughs> don't know how the fuck that's going to work. I have, not, uh, I have not come up with a plan for either of them. But at least as far as getting to a point where we can actually uh, formulate a plan... Feel pretty good about that. This is like a nightmare what we have going down here. I want to do this with Cormag, but I'm a little worried. He has five resistance. So hypothetically, it would be like 15 at the most. It's probably reasonable. All right, I'm okay with letting Cormag do this. Unfortunately, Cormag still doesn't have a javelin. I don't know why I refuse to get a javelin for Cormag. I think I'm just stupid. Yeah, Erica Ephraim support will be will be useful. Okay, defense is nice. Would like some offensive stats, but I'm not gonna complain about defense or luck for that matter. Yeah, we could do that then. Probably he's on the four turn their weapons with Phantom, attack them unarmed. I'm not gonna lie, Wheelie, when I was thinking about this chapter uh, last night after I stopped the stream, I, I was like, 
I don't want to resort to that, but that is an option. And it's an option I'm, yeah, very much aware of. You do what you gotta do, all right? <laughs> uh, okay, you are gonna promote before I forget and you die. I mean, you might die anyways, but at least as long as you promote, I'll like feel good about, you know, at least promoting you. Definitely summoner. We do have double summoner now. Yeah, the worst case scenario is the broken weapons, but we always have that in our back pocket. I, me I mentioned this um, a few minutes ago, but th the one really nice thing about our team is that we are actually, we have so many healers. We have four healers now. Like we may not have a lot of units left and healers don't exactly bring a lot of bulk, which is unfortunate, but we actually can heal a shit ton. <laughs> so at least from that perspective, it's good. Double summoners activated, exactly. And another healer, yeah, yeah. You should embrace the cheese, oh I do. Dude, I go for some cheese right now. Or if somebody just put some cheese curds in front of me right now, oh my god. I'd lose my shit, I'm not gonna lie. That'd be sick. Embrace the cheese, all right, you two stand next to each other. You both, they have the same amount of health left, that's kinda cool. Both weapon tri twice as quickly. That is true. That is very true. Unfortunately, both bosses have two weapons, but you know, what are you gonna do? We'll see. We'll see. The the thing next chapter does scare me. Now the the one good thing about the next chapter, which is the uh, the Orson chapter, is that it's pretty straightforward, like this one. Like once you you can just kind of like choke a point, deal with reinforcements, and then deal with the rest of the chapter at your own pace. You can't get the chest, but that's not that big a deal. The thing that scares me is that a lot of the... The Orson chapter is where you really start to encounter, like, only promoted uh, enemies, right? And I don't really know that we're strong enough to fight only promoted enemies. But we'll burn that bridge, obviously, when we, uh, when we get there. I am slightly worried about Cormeg in this position, just because potentially Double Mage can attack him. We're looking at 20 and 18. I guess this 5 res is good enough to not die outright, but it's not great. Fortunately, you have barrier. I'd love to get her over there to start barriering up. Maybe I'll wait until the enemies are dealt with. Cormeg, I think, is going to be important. Cor Cormeg, I think, is my last... Ephraim, too, but Cormeg is one of my last, like, good scalable units. That's a really good class, too. And I think he's going to be pretty valuable uh, going forward in that regard. Um, I think I'm just going to back up with Cormeg for now. I'm going to kill this guy. And then I think I'm going to let the mage... Okay, well. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. Let's go over to the paladin. It's not a terrible idea. Deal, deal some decent chunk damage. I'm not really that worried about the paladin though. His movement is so ass. I, I think we can we can deal with him at our own uh, at our own pace. The only thing I'm really worried about here is the uh, are the mages, to be honest. Do you have the growth boosting item in the desert? It's a good point. I, for, I honestly forgot that that was a thing in this game. That you you got that. Um, is salad okay? I can always heal salad, and then you should be fine. Um, do I have a, um, staff in the convoy? Yeah, but nothing you can use. Can I buy heal staffs here? Okay, do that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. Maybe Cormeg? Cormeg or Ephraim, I think. All right, the only person that can get here is him or the mages, so I think I'll just do this. The mercenary will almost definitely kill him, but that's okay. I don't really care. Dazzle can stay there. I don't think Dazzle is going to get attacked here, but that's okay. Uh, and then... I guess you guys can back up a little bit, because you're still both injured. Okay, that should be fine. Ephraim's always a sure bet? Yeah. I think Ephraim just being insanely busted... Um might be one of the best, like, 
ideas we can come up with, right? So maybe Ephraim. You don't need to get it. Oh my god, yes I do. I wish I could give it to myself. I wish I could become a, a smarter tactician. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Fandoms can pick up desert items. <laughs> I did not know that. That's kind of funny. So, like I said, killing the mages is really useful here. Now the... Well, I suppose at this point, if this guy dies, Cormac only has to contend. Really, crit? Man, I hate crit. Okay, let's just kill this guy. Once this guy's dead, Cormac, I think, can choke this point pretty easily. And then we can get him to 20 pretty pretty efficiently. Help Noel get lucky. <laughs> What's Noel's, like, base luck growth? Because the, the drops or whatever they're called in this game give, like, 5% to all this uh, growths, right? So how much would that even <laughs> would that even go to? It was like a miss and get crit, but you know, whatever. What are the chances of that? Can this guy get to me? Yes, he can. Okay, Steel Axe Man's a little bit scary. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I didn't realize there was a Steel Axe Man right there, but the chances of Steel Axe Man attacking me, I think, is pretty small. I mean, the, these calves are so clogged here. I, I don't think there's really any way that happens. Uh, Sword Slayer doesn't work here, right? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I don't know why I thought it didn't. Wait, this is how... Oh, no, no, that was, uh... That was a Mer uh, Mermadon. Okay, and then I'm gonna heal... Uh, Cormag, just in case. But I think he's fine. The little sensor to level 20 isn't important. No, it's really not. Um, but, but it, I mean, it could be. Stats are pretty valuable. It depends on how much you train the unit, I suppose. Whether it's 20? Jesus Christ. Man, Noel is something else. Noel's the ultimate, like, I talk about this a lot, but there's all these units that combine, like, horrible bulk with horrible luck. That's not a good combo. <laughs> Even if you happen to survive something, you just get crit. But whatever, the chance of no seeing any combat outside of like potentially, you know, peppering somebody at range is pretty small at this point, so I don't really care. There's no crit here, which is the reason I feel pretty safe about this. That That is a good point, um... Uh, Seafarer. That's the thing is like, you look at a lot of these growth percentages and stuff, and when you... When you look at them outright, they seem better than they actually are, but when you break down... Um, is Dazla gonna die here? There's like a chance he does, right? I should have traded him off of the uh, the thing. But yeah, there's there's a lot of stats and gross and stuff that look really good, but when you break down how much you're actually getting per like 10 or 20 levels, it, it, it things become a lot worse. I think Dazla could die here, because he'll, he'll get doubled here. Oh shit. All right, that was really dumb on my part. I could have asked for a better ending. Tazla, I think you could have asked for a better ending. I forgot, yeah, I forgot that uh, Sword Slayer would give Weapon Triangle to the Javelin. Uh, that's a bummer. Nah, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. Once this guy's dead, I feel pretty good. I suppose there's this guy. Is it Steel Axe too? Ooh, I don't love double Steel Axe. How much defense do I have? 16. Yeah, maybe it's not so bad. Rip does nuts. <laughs> we did lose the Sword Slayer, which could potentially lose uh, one of our options for the boss. Unfortunately, that's another death, which means we're starting to run out of... I shouldn't say we're starting, we are running out of uh, death counter spaces. Get out before stuff looked grim. Uh, what a mensch. Okay, so the fighter moves first, which means I can probably bait attacks with uh, summons. Rip, rip indeed. Rip indeed. Oh, that's a bummer. I mean, I think we are getting to the point, especially when we fight like just uh, promoted units where Dazzle's like usefulness is gonna fall off a cliff. Um, 
if it, you know, hadn't already, but it still would have been nice to, you know, have him run. And losing the Sword Slayer is, is kind of a bummer for sure. That's pretty clear. Yeah, we should start doing that. We should start using the, the Phantoms. Yeah, Mur and Cyrene are the last two we can get. Mur can be really strong um, and useful, but unfortunately she's... Uh, oh, maybe I should heal Salad. Can I... Eh, Salad's probably fine. I believe in Salad. Um, uh, but yeah, Mur, Mur can be pretty amazing. The problem, of course, is that she's limited to how many uh, stone uses she has. Yeah, La Rochelle, La Rochelle got lob murdered. La Rochelle is unfortunately deceased. There's no way Sal gets doubled, right? He has like 17 speed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, La Rochelle. Oh, the Peach, I just didn't put... The the people that died while well, they were still green units or red units, I didn't put on the death counter. But if I did, the death counter would be quite a bit bigger. <laughs> she, um, she died as a green unit, so... I don't have a great way to kill this uh, Paladin at the moment. <laughs> the death on, her, on his conscience. Normal. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I usually, I usually make it depend on how many deaths I think there will be in the in the run. Dude, I just don't have. Is this our entire team? Where'd all my units go? <laughs> Fuck! I don't have anybody that can do anything. Uh. Sure. Maybe we crit. Or just miss outright. Is locked in. Yes. Always was, always will be. All right, let's run back what we did last turn. So we heal Cormag. <laughs> Where did all my beautiful units go? Where have all the good units gone? Big fall. <laughs> no bitches. No units. <laughs> No, apparently not. I suppose I could lure him in and kill him with Ephraim if we really wanted to. Uh, sh can you get support? Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. At least I'm distracting these uh, these fighters. We gaming with this team? We're certainly doing something. We are we are certainly playing the video game. Nobody can deny that. How well are we playing the video game? Well, you know, that, that's up for a little more debate, I think. But uh We're certainly here doing our thing. I mean I guess this is fine if we just keep luring the fighters with the uh with the phantoms and we can slowly whittle this guy away. I mean it's not the greatest thing I've ever seen, but you know, it's not terrible. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm killing you anyways, so what the hell? Well, you miss alive from Grotto. So, Cormac's from Grotto, Natasha's from Grotto, Dussel's from Grotto, Noel's from Grotto. You're right, actually. It's just Natasha and my lords. Oh, Salad's not from Grotto. At least I don't think. I don't know where Salad's from originally. But, uh, that is a good point. Thank you, Blue Island. I need it. Clearly. <laughs> Uh, luring this guy actually doesn't really matter as much anymore because he just has one range, but whatever. Do it. So once Cormac kills this guy, I think he'll get his last level and then we should be good to promote him. Oh, don't go heal, you little. Don't go heal. This guy's a pussy. That's a bummer. Oh, whatever. Cormac will promote and then he'll come kick your ass. It's fine. I believe. How close is Cormac to 20? Okay, pretty close. 
We also have a energy ring at the moment. I really don't know who that's going to go to, but that is something we have access to. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it is something we have. Obviously, like, Cormeg is the unit I want to scale, but I don't really know that an energy ring is, like, what he needs, you know? But maybe. No, I just keep summoning, whatever. We could support Grind, that is true. Who can even support anymore? <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like I've broken all my, uh, all my connections. Do I need to heal you this turn? I mean, kinda. This is probably fine. I know Eric and Ephraim can. Which, I'm not gonna lie, at this point, Eric and Ephraim might just, like, be a solo couple at some point, so... Maybe that's a good idea. Can you kill this guy? Uh, no. This is a great answer. I was thinking, actually, about... So one of the chapters that I'm most worried about at this point is... Um, the defend chapter with Reeve. Now, obviously, it doesn't matter, right? When we get to it, we'll get to it and we'll figure it out. But I was kind of thinking about some strategies for that chapter. Solo couple, yeah. <laughs> that made a lot more sense in my head until I uh, said it out loud. <laughs> it can end up being a solo couple. I mean, it kind of makes sense in a really kind of dumb way. couple yeah they're always together they seem to like each other you know I just assume they're a couple that makes sense right so at this stage I think the I think the unit that's most important to our game plan other than Erica and Ephraim of course because they die we lose is probably Cormeg because he is my last like look at this team dude oh man I can't get over it um because he's my last like physically attacking uh unit you know I'm gonna be honest I got recommended a video of somebody doing a 0% growth playthrough. I think it was of FE7. But the point is, I didn't watch it. But I think the guy did it. Who knows? Who can really who can really say? But I was thinking I was reinvigorated because I was thinking if somebody's out there with 0% growth finishing a game, you know, we have growth. We can finish game, right? That's what I was thinking. I got inspired. Even though I didn't watch the video. <laughs> But the, the title of the video is inspirational. Sick level up. Talk about inspirational. Let's go. My goat. Pursuing the king and hiding in the treasure room is a good strat. Okay, so with the with the Reeve chapter, is it is it just that the that the king can't die, or is it also that the throne can't be like seized? Because now that I think about it, I'm not 100 percent sure. Is Ephraim in danger? And there is this hand axe guy here. I really want to kill this hand axe guy. Probably not if I just keep summoning. Negative growth is quite funny. That sounds insane. Now, obviously, a lot of that stuff, I think, you have very specific strats. And we're not using obviously like very defined strategies, but I was pretty inspired by the uh, by the title of that video. One HP is one HP. That is very true. One is not zero. It's important to remember that. It's a, it's a thing people say a lot in Magic the Gathering, and I feel like it applies here. Use your life total as a resource. We, we've used multiple life totals as multiple resources. Maybe, maybe not the uh, maybe not as smart actually. Now that I think about it, why did I just heal Ephraim one health? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I mean, Cormega, I think is fine. See, so, yeah, killing yeah killing Reeve is usually my strategy because I kind of hate that chapter, but. Like you said, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Now, I thought that you had to you had to protect the throne, but the fact that all you have to do is keep the Pontifex alive, I think his name is Mansell, actually I think opens up a lot of possibilities on that chapter. Great level up for Cormeg. Hmm. 
Yeah, that actually changed because I was thinking the strategy I was coming up with was you would pick up Mansell with somebody and then you would like still have to have somebody on the throne. So you could maybe like have a really strong F-frame with no weapons and then load him up with elixirs. But the fact that all you need to do is keep Mansell alive means that seems way more doable now that I think about it. It's gonna it's gonna depend. If we get to that chapter, we'll, we'll make decisions obviously when we get there, but interesting. I thought you had to protect the throne. All right, let's promote Cormeg. And as we talked about earlier, we will be doing Wyvern Knight because I think it is better. The left tile. See, I think the, the only problem with that I think is getting there because you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fight through a bunch of promoted enemies to get to that point. But I do agree with you. I know what you're talking about. I wonder if, you know where, you know where the unit starts from, not the throne room, but the, the, the room to the north of it where like part of your team uh, starts? Isn't, isn't that a one tile choke as well? I could be mistaken about that. Maybe that's an easier place to get to for us. I don't know. We were not as doorly tail too. That is true. It does. It does. I I actually like Wyvern Knight. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the animations of the flying units, but Wyvern Knight I actually think is pretty cool. I think it's just really like fast. I like it. Now these are of course, as I've already mentioned, decisions we're gonna have to make when we get there. And the chances of us getting there uh, grow smaller and smaller with e each death, but that is nice to know because that's the chapter that probably worries me the most. The Gorgon chapter, I think, can be really scary too. Um, but Darkling Woods, I don't think is Darkling Woods can get bad. I don't know. We'll see. Um. Okay. Well, I guess the only things that we still have to do is kill the bosses and then get some for some buried treasure. Uh, Okay, how do we kill Kalich? That's the question. How strong is Kalich? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Very strong is the correct answer. He only has 18 speed. How much speed does Cormac have right now? 19? Cormac does have the Axe Reaver. That's not nothing. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Eric, you can do Salad and F-Frame. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we should do some supporting. Everyone's going to be so clumped up for every chapter going forward, so... It's probably not a terrible idea. <laughs> Your stepping stone and I'm moving up. Don't take it per don't take it personally, kid. No, oh, he crit me! What a dick. Oh, you want to- you want to play? All right, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you with Ephraim. Oh, we are. Hold on, we're, we're kind of we're kind of in no man's land here. All right, how do we look fighting you with the Axe Reaver? Oh, there's crit too. It's just so bad. That's yeah, just the worst thing I've ever seen. Let's see, who can Cormag support with? Dusel, Tana, Cormac can do Natasha and Dusel. That's kind of cool. Doesn't sound terrible to me. Cormac and Natasha might be kind of interesting. Well, I'm starting to think we're going to have to take the... Uh, the approach of... I mean, there is damage in that. There is also one crit. Do you have any supports at the moment? You have C with E1. Okay. Oh, but you have that and he sells crit. Yikes. Um, okay, just go here and then you go... Oh, support? Support! Okay. Master Salad. Master? <laughs> okay, what a conversation. Oh, I'm sorry, Princess Erica. 
It's all right. Were you praying? Not exactly. It's called Velega. Velega? Yes. What is it? Is it something to do with Care Palin's cultural history? Yes, in a sense. Think of it as a, a kind of wish, a pure, a very pure wish. It is a wish that expands far beyond individual desire. I see. I don't claim to understand, but it sounds very interesting. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear more about it later, if you like. Yes, I would. All right, well, <laughs> not exactly the most interesting conversation out there. Oh, you can support too, okay. Teacher, what is it, Iwan? Do you remember a few years ago when you went to visit Commander Garrick? That was when I met you and followed uh, you back to Care Palin. I never said thank you for uh, taking me in, teacher. I've never regretted it. I remember it clearly. I kept thinking, what have I gotten myself into? If that's the way you feel about it, why did you let me become your student? Your eyes. My eyes? You had a spark in your eyes. I knew that if I saw an exceptional talent for magic in those eyes. Wow, that's really something. I would never have guessed. I'm sure as your training progresses that you will feel your power grow. I'll train even harder then. Back when I first started, I thought you were kind of scary. Me? Well, you didn't really talk much. I always thought you were angry with me and I didn't know why. All this because I was so silent all the time? Yep, but after a while, I figured out it was just the way you are. Yuan, you can never uh, find the truth in words, spoken or unspoken. Truth lives within the heart, wow. <laughs> but other people uh, can't see what's inside your heart, can they? If you can trust one another, you can see and you will understand. Oh, is this how it works? Uh, I think I get it now. But talking is so important to building friendships, isn't it? We use words to communicate things like feelings and ideas. But all that stuff, it's just on the surface. Does that mean that if people use their hearts, they can communicate without using words? This sounds very Kingdom Heartsy. <laughs> That's right. You really are a great teacher. You teach me by making me uh, teach myself, and I mean more than just magic. Remember how angry you were at me that one time? Back when I took uh, when I took out that magic tome, I wasn't angry that you took the tome uh, out with you. I said you took it without uh, asking and went for a stroll. And then you stopped to play in the river. That's right, then I dropped it in Splash, right? Right in it went. It wasn't in the river for long, but those pages were uh, totally illegible. That, the utter carelessness. No, your lack of consideration. That's what made me angry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what a dickhead. Uh, but I never took any books with me uh, when I went to the river after that. And there were other things as well. Oh, you don't mean that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I've never had a student so troublesome as you. But I promise uh, to be much more careful in the future. Is there even a shred of truth in those words? <laughs> Yikes, you rascal, you little rascal. This is Kingdom Hearts Ask, I don't mean that as a compliment. What do you mean, the greatest uh, storytelling game of our generation, Kingdom Hearts? Any of the 50 of them? You must speak with the heart, the darkness, Sora. Okay, so Sa Salad now has B and C, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can do that. I guess Natasha can sort of fight this guy if she wants. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, Kingdom Hearts is a <laughs> hell of a franchise. <laughs> it's pretty crazy that- what the hell? <laughs> this palette is being broken in such weird ways. Okay. No, we, I still haven't seen it. I, I need to watch it. I really do. I really do. God, the hit rates. The problem is everyone has so much goddamn avoid. Did you like it, Wheelie? I really need to watch it. I was watching, uh... I, I wanted to watch it. Oh, no, the, the, the fucking Phantom... Uh, the all right. Well, as as we determined earlier, um, phantoms can pick up items. Well, we don't get warp now. Fuck. That warp actually would have been pretty useful. God damn it. Uh, Erica, do you want the kill instead? Well, it's probably better if I do it this way because the hit will be higher. Discord watch party. <laughs> I don't even know how to watch it. I guess that's the biggest problem. I wish I knew like what platform. I'm sure you could just buy it, but. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I thought I'd get more hit. Maybe they don't have, they don't even have support with you. What am I talking about? Well, no, honestly, I kind of want to see it more that you didn't like it. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Okay, no more crit. We like that. Let's turn as cursed, dude, it is. That really sucks. I think there's something else we can be picking up though, isn't there? Like... Over here, I think. 
I mean, to be fair, I really have no clue how, like, that's gonna... Like, I don't really have a plan for warp, necessarily. But warp is pretty handy to have access to, so... Should've listened earlier. Sh I should've gotten warp before I, uh, before I did this, but, you know. Okay, more, more magic is more healing, so that's not terrible. I never quite played a Fire Emblem game like this. <laughs> this, uh, this, like, so slow and, uh, and crawly like this, but I, I feel like it's kind of what we have to do, you know? Mm -mm, that's not terrible. <clears throat> I don't know if using Excalibur here is, like, really that important, but I don't hate it. I think this guy will be kind of nice. Oh, I appreciate the Genesis. They have it on Fire Emblem WOD, so I'm good, but I, I appreciate it. So the other thing we can get here is Silence, which is also pretty valuable. I'm not really that worried about, like, wasting Excalibur, honestly, because who knows how long any unit is going to survive. Dude, the, the summoner, like, damage animation or attack animation and healing animation is so weird. It's like they shiver. I'm sure it, like, means something, but it's very, uh, it's very interesting. One of the nice things here is that we get the Hoplin Guard. I don't know how valuable the Hoplin Guard is necessarily going to be, but it's kind of cool. Oh, wow, he heals so much. And these levels for Salad are not irrelevant. Yeah, he keeps getting speed and he got defense. He's up to 18 speed. Again, like, to double stuff, you just need so much speed, but... Oh, he gets plus five with Excalibur. Oh, but it... <laughs> he gets plus five, but it weighs him down by five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of pointless, uh, but fair enough. It's pretty good, though. It's nice that he's getting speed and defense. Salad's kind of a beast. Maybe I should give him the energy ring. I wonder if Cormac can kill Kalich. He can probably trade off the Excalibur now. I mean, I think he can, it's just shitty. 61. Nah, this is fine. I, I don't hate uh, salad killing this guy anyways. Okay, nice. 22 luck, my goodness. 10, 17, so by 2, so that's 16 speed. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, summon... Suppose once Kalish runs out of the tomahawk, he can't even attack me back. Sick crit. I guess I didn't quite realize he would heal that much. Okay. Should really kill him next turn. Apparently Salad is just our, our boss killer, like... <laughs> our boss killer extraordinaire. You're out of Tom- oh no, I still have one more Tomahawk. I wonder if I can actually get this for uh, him instead. Maybe <laughs> be scared to continue my uh, Sick of Stones Iron Man. Trust me, the-, the this chapter and- and the- It's- it's a lot different if you're not uh, playing with the buffs. You got this Acorn, I- I believe in you. I like Nazca. Have you? How many have you seen, Wheelie? I'm a, I'm pretty biased when it comes to uh, when it comes to his movies. Blast a bit more, and a crown would have been mine. Um, because I, I grew up on them. Like I watched them a ton as a kid, like a bunch of them. So I, I feel like your your like view on stuff's always pretty uh, 
pretty skewed when you do that. Um, but I like pretty much all of his stuff, to be honest. All right, let's get silence. Oh, I should have waited with everybody. How much constitution does Mulder has to have a ton if he doesn't get weighed down at all? <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Am I in the right place? I think I am. Uh, it's one down. Oh, so I'm, I'm so Natasha's not actually getting it, but that's a could be summoning too, I suppose. I do the twenty percent stupidity. You're well on your way. Okay, we got silence. That's good. So we still have this guy to deal with. I guess I should probably go over there and do that. I mean, we still have this little army down here. We're not out of the woods yet. But there's no more reinforcements, so at least that's good. I don't know if there's a Miyazaki movie I don't like, to be honest. Like, there's ones I like more than others. I like Nausicaa a lot, but, uh... I don't think there's really one that I... There's some, like, uh, like Whisper in the Heart, you know, that are, like, a little more slice of lifey that I'm not, you know, as big a fan of, I guess, but I don't think... I, 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 I like them all, to be honest. Well, there's a former bodybuilder turned freeze. Apparently, if he has enough constitution to not get weighed down by Excalibur... Oh, dude, look at little mini Dussel. <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, then he's gotta be. Oh, he's 11 con. Still, 11 constitution is quite high. Yeah, because I think you would need 13 to not get weighed down. But... Still, though. Worm Slayer in the desert. The problem is, who's going to use the Worm Slayer? <laughs> I'm not really sure at this stage. I think the Dragon Axe... Well, we don't have Dazzle anymore. We still have Dussel. Okay, let's get this guy. Am I good to kill him? Probably. Let's, get, let's lure him out. With our little phantom boys. I think I have enough stuff around here to kill him. It's a little awkward always fighting um, uh, berserkers like this because they always have crit, but... we do. Who is that? I think the Hoplin Guard's in the convoy. Yeah, I wonder if maybe Hoplin Guard uh, Cormag could be good for this. Prince Mononoke will always be my favorite. Yeah, I, I like Prince Mononoke a lot. I think when I was younger it was my favorite. It might still be. I go so back and forth because I just I don't know. I love I love Castle in the Sky. I love Spirited Away, Prince of Mononoke, Nausicaa, um, Hells Moving Castle. I think's great. Man, that still looks pretty ass. I mean, twenty-seven hit is really nothing to worry about. I need chip damage though. I really wish I would double. How fast is this guy? Nineteen speed. My man is zooming out here. Ah, it's that crit again. I need chip damage. I mean, six is technically chip damage. Um, that's that crit though. Oh, Ponyo's pretty good. Yeah, if we don't take care of all of Volter's uh, weaponry, we're gonna have to do that. Ponyo's pretty good. I like Ponyo. It's not my favorite, but I think it's uh, I think it's solid. It's a fun little romp. Well, the nice thing is that I'll get support if I do this, which will help. Circus so scared. Yeah. There's another one too. There's a devil axe one down here we have to deal with. But he's a little less scary, and he gets weighed down by five from the devil axe, so I don't think he'll be as scary as this guy. Okay. What does it look like with the support? Okay, a little less crit. So let me um Let me do this. I mean if I get crit, I get crit. It's such a small percentage. That would've been really funny though. And then, let me grab the Hoplin Guard for you. Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, I guess, you know, I'm kind of dumb actually, because I, I could've just taken the Hoplin Guard with Erica and then traded it to Seth, so I didn't have to risk that crit. But that was such a small percentage, obviously. 
With crit avoid? Okay. And then he has 15 health, which I think should be good for you. Yeah, I mean, an 82 is not 100, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, that's good. And we get the Dragon Axe here, which is pretty amazing. Oh, the Kessel. I forgot about the Castle Cargliostro. That was, like, his first one. That's his only one that's, like, based off an existing property, I think. Because Lupin is, like, an actual thing. Although I've never really seen any of the Lupin, like, anime. That one's good. I don't know how good it is as, like, a Lupin film, but I, I like that one a lot. Do I not just have an iron lance for you? Why do you have so many steel lances, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You sound insane. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The fact that Salad was fast enough to knock it double by the 19 speed Berserker is actually pretty nuts. Can you talk to Dusel? Okay. General Dusel, Cormeg, you're here. I turned my back on Grotto to avenge my murdered brother. I never imagined I'd see you abandon Grotto's army, though. Circumstances made me a traitor, it seems. It's ironic. Two men who threw away their country, riding side by side. Mm. General Dussel, I would consider it an honor to serve under you again. No, I'm a man with no country. I'm no longer a general of Grotto. And I'm the same, really. When, uh, when you look at it all, nothing's changed. Then I simply choose you uh, as the man I ride with and protect, Cormeg. Okay. Actually, Cormac should probably get experience here over Ephraim. I think grinding Cormac a bunch here would be uh, would be good. Dusel can use the Dragon Axe? I believe so. I think the Dragon Axe is only like B or maybe A. But I think he, he he's using his Silver Axe at the moment, so I think he can use it. And with the Hoplin Guard, maybe he can fight Volter on his own? I don't know. We'll find out, obviously. Isn't there like a Berserk or a Sleep or something down here? There's Sleep, yeah. Unfortunately, we still don't have Restore. I really need to go buy Restore. Um, we still don't have Restore, which means we can't do anything about that, but, you know. It is what it is. Really, 88 Cormac, that's what we're doing out here? Let me let me bring up the... Uh, the hidden stuff in the sand. I think Ewan's gonna be my best bet. So I guess you go ahead up there. Who else has a lot of luck? You 16, that's pretty good. How much is Natasha? 20, oh wow. I didn't know she had so much. Sure. Okay, so what else is in the sand? There is a silver card, body ring, worm slayer, killer bow, which I think we can't do anything with, but we may as well get. The boots, which is great, the tome, uh, and then eclipse. Oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. All right, Lord Genesis, I should go grab that. Let me see, where's the stuff in the sand? Oh, there's one over here, too. Okay, it's like around here. I'm gonna go grab her store. Oh, dope. Okay. Uh, I guess you want to go do it then, right? Because he's a silver card now. Uh, so just keep doing this. Dealing with this formation is going to be a little sketchy, especially with the ranger in his range. I guess only the ranger can get there. Alright, Salad, I'm going to bring you down here. Yeah, everybody else start heading down. I guess we could always lure out with phantoms. It's an option. Oh, you already got your thing. That's right, he has a silver card. Uh, okay, just head down here. You keep trying to get that. Oh, the Phantom's a 10 luck, wow. Okay, you don't get that. I mean, Noel's percentage to get this is, like, incredibly small, because he has no luck. But whatever. So 25 HP, 9 strength, 7 speed, 10 defense. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I, like I said, I remember when I was a kid, and I was always, like, pretty blown away by the fact that it felt like, um... 
I'm gonna buy some, I'm gonna buy an elixir here. Although honestly, elixirs are pretty useless for us. Cause the one thing that we actually have is healing. But yeah, I was always pretty blown away by the fact that the promoted enemies had like worse stats than the unpromoted ones. Now they, they do sort of fix that because they give, um, uh, they give better weapons, but still. Yeah, that's a good point. We should make sure that they don't, the phantoms don't get the, uh, the items. Man, I wish I had a thief. <laughs> wish I didn't screw up Renok. Yeah, I'm just not gonna move the phantoms anymore until we get some of these items. <laughs> Alright, everybody grab a, grab a shovel and start, uh, <laughs> digging for buried treasure out here. Yeah, I, I got I got one restore. I mean, sleep isn't the worst thing in the world. We can just wait it out. It's a lot better than Berserk for us, but we may as well. I mean, why not? And it'll be useful for upcoming chapters. Oh, you, you can support it. Erika, you all right? I'm fine, brother. I'm right here, so please call me if you need anything. I'll always be nearby. Yes, thank you. But you do understand that I am here to fight, don't you? I cannot ask you to watch me constantly. I'm your sister, not your ward, Erika. Wait, don't. What are you... You looked a little upset. <laughs> I thought I would stroke your face like I used to? Please stop it, you're treating me like a child. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just a, an old habit. Besides, you were always the one who pestered me to do it when you were little. Don't you remember? No, I don't remember. That was such a long time ago. Uh, dear brother, please try to remember where we are right now. What would our, what would our companions say if they saw us uh, in such a personal moment? Yikes. Yes, that would be embarrassing. Forgive me, I did not mean to do anything that you would find unpleasant. No, I didn't mean that, it's just... So you really want me to, you really do want me to stroke your face? Dude, shut up! No, I mean, look, uh, you always did blush so easily, you haven't changed at all. Enough, brother, you're starting to anger me. You start, I'm gonna get really angry. <laughs> Vaka Oni-chan. <laughs> Yikes, hey, we got the thing. <laughs> Vaka Oni-chan. Oh my god. There is one more. Let's go around with this phantom. I'm just gonna have this phantom fuck off for now. There's one like around here. Okay, well, <laughs> Cormac's luck is pretty ass too. That was pretty lucky. Okay, there's one more over where Ewan is, and then I think everything else is more to the south. Yeah, we have. So we have everything except for. Um, so the, the boots, I'm gonna wait to do the boots, the tome, and the eclipse. Oh, but we have everything else. Oh, we don't have the, um, we don't have the body ring too. Ooh, body ring could be good. Who wants the body ring? We could do salad with the body ring to make Excalibur better, but I'm not sure, you know. King Fado's rolling around in his grave. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you like this, who knows? Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the body ring yet. I don't know exactly how this works. Like, if, if I lure out one ranger, will they all start moving? Because that sounds pretty goddamn terrifying, if I'm being honest. But, I don't know. Hey, she has 10 strength now. <laughs> She's moving up in the world. <laughs> No, Vin, I, I don't think we can use the bow. I don't think there's, there's any way. The killer bow is literally just however much money it sells for. They all rush. I suppose... I suppose I could do this really safe, and I could just send the phantoms, and then stand up here. Maybe this is the safest approach, actually. And then the phantoms will tell us who, ac who exactly rushes. All right, again, this is this is hella cheese, but when you're when you're down on your luck as much as I am in this playthrough, you know, cheese is. Uh... All right, let's go here and see how many people come and kill the phantoms. I wonder if the phantoms can get slept. Cheese. Cheese is tasty. Oh, just the myrmidons? Okay, perfect. I can definitely deal with those. Go nuts, Cormeg. I believe in you.
I believe in Cormeg. Eclipse might actually not be terrible. I mean, Eclipse does suck, but I don't know exactly how bad it is in this game. I remember in Fire Emblem 7, we actually did some decent work with it with um, Kanas, but I don't know if this game really works like that. And then in Fire Emblem 6, obviously, it's like the most useless thing in the universe, so who knows. I love the curly tail. It's great. <laughs> well, I had a good run. <laughs> GG's, boys. GG's. Here's my image for your death counter, and <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Thank you very much. Oh, you can go fuck yourself. And she's on the forest, or the fort, too. We don't love that. We don't love that at all. Well, I suppose nobody can get there. Can you kill? Oh, yeah. Wreck this, dude. Dude, do Trebidors just suck in this game? I'm used to Trebidors. I guess I'm used to Fire Emblem 6 Trebidors where they're, like, impossible to kill. But I guess they're not like that in this game. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? She's so shit! What the hell? Okay, it seems like some of the scaling didn't do anything. Because <laughs> those are uh, not real stats I'm looking at. <laughs> that is just fake. That is true. I've never done that before, but yeah, I think somebody mentioned that. You can, and wall, dealing with walls in that game is not nothing. So that is a good point. It's bound to end badly. I like the idea that Fado just took it. Over the word death, we could, I was thinking about doing more over chat, but I guess we could start going over death. Death, death, death. Well, we still have one more person to add. That of course being, uh, What's his face? I've already forgotten his name, Dazla. Alright, Phantoms. Fight him. Everybody else back up, because I might not want you guys in range of the Ranger next turn, depending on how many people move. If it's only the one, we can just surround and deal with him pretty easily, but who knows. Wait, did that say support? Oh, support. Any supports? Core Magnet, I did say support. Ah, very cool. Oh great, perfect timing. You're a priestess, aren't you? Yes, I am. How may I? Sorry, I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Uh, could you heal this little guy for me? <laughs> heal who? Do you mean that kitten? Oh, he's a kitten? Yeah, what's the matter? Can't you do can't you do kittens? No, that's not it. It's just, I was a little surprised to, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you can heal him, hop to it. Uh, yes, sorry. There, he should be fine now. Aren't you a lucky little kitten? The sweet man saved you. Sweet man, me? <laughs> Lady, you don't know me. <laughs> but thanks for saving him. <laughs> Not at all. I couldn't let this little guy suffer. The name's Cormeg. I'm glad I ran into you. <laughs> Is he trying to riz her up right now? I'm just glad I could help. My name's Natasha. Well, I owe you one for saving the cat. If you need any help, just call out and I'll be there. I shall remember that, Cormeg. Aw, you got a little, uh, you got a little cat. Those are a warrior setting off. Dude, he was doing work at the end there. He was doing some good work. You avoid the warranty? It's worth it though. For the adorable little cats. Alright, well, I guess we'll just deal with these guys one at a time. I mean, whatever. Charismatic. <laughs> Show me that gorgeous core bug. <laughs> Cat Lagoo should be able to revive for free nine times. Low key, they should. What if they were to use some of their uh, some of their lives though? Core swag. Oh, I like that. You do got that core swag. Give Ephraim a kill here. Big level up here. That was pretty good. Give Lyra the nine lives in Rainy Dawn, dude. She would say she would still be ass. She needs it. Dude, Lyra and Lyra and Kaza from uh, Rainy Dawn might be two of the worst units in all of Fire Emblem Loki. So it definitely is seeming to me like the units don't move beyond just coming up and attacking you. Korma going. Oh, he's gonna sleep my, uh, he's gonna sleep my phantom. <laughs> you dickhead. Oh, he missed. 
Bro, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. It's funny, I don't know whose phantom is whose. Oh, I guess it's level two, so it's Nulls, yeah. You can also just check by who can actually summon. Alright, everybody else back up a little bit. Uh, you two Null. And then we'll do this. This is some exquisite cheese we have going here, let me tell ya. Our finest, uh, our finest cheese. Oh, that guy's dead. Kids need to study... Cor... Cormonomics? No, Corm... Cormatic? Cor... Corma... 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 <laughs> Jokes dead, the joke will never die. Cormegamatics. Core core oh, man. Alright, let's murder this guy. Are you ready to die, my guy? Dude, the hit rates are so bad. Are you on catches a stray and dies? Loki, not a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> We're cooking. That was pretty good. Cormegadon. Or make these nuts. Uh, sure. Okay, well, we tried. We give it the old college try. <laughs> Do we have a sleeping phantom? Wait, sleeping phantom is actually pretty ass, right? Because they can't die and they need to die. It's like, um, uh, what's the thing from Rick and Morty, the me seeks or whatever? You know what I'm talking about? The like, uh, they need to die, or they need to fulfill their purpose and then die? <laughs> Is that the phantoms? This dude's just living in agony out there. Oh my god, how fast are you? Oh, this guy's got 23 speed! Alright, fine, Excalibur, I need this guy dead. Plus routine hit, dude, yeah, and actually hit is not bad at all. It's actually pretty valuable, because our hit is ass across the board. Hey, Mr. Bemba. Yeah, we're not dead. Dazla did die, so we lost another unit, but, uh... <laughs> Should I restore our, um... It's probably not worth it. All right, who's next? Who's next in the meat grinder? Mr. Paladin? All right, Mr. Paladin, you're coming with me. Oh my god, our phantom's popping. Wait, can I just kill this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, I double? That's right, we looked at his stats. It's terrible. But yeah, we're not dead yet. We are we are using some massive cheese at the moment, but, you know. Do what you gotta do. We're cheesing sacred stones, and the chat's devolved into Cormag puns, so, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. You do what you gotta do. Oh, you wanna die? Okay. It's fine with me. I don't care who dies. Dude, Salad, I, I don't know who's giving him all this crit. It's gotta be one of his supports, but god damn. My man's just out here with 22 crit constantly. Dude, Salad might just be our goat, honestly. All right, who summon is it? It's Ewans, that's right. These summoners honestly might carry us. Actually, wait, I can attack back. I may as well let Cormac do this. Will Cormac double his 20 speed? How fast are you? Yo, we're actually gonna get a doubling angle here? The man, the myth, the legend? Mr. Double himself? That's not bad. Salad cosplaying his pet, he is. Oh, you don't move? Uh, well, now I'm scared. Because I feel like they're gonna wait and then move when everybody else moves. Alright, Mr. Phantom, see if the ranger moves. Don't move at the same time. Okay. Hopefully the Paladin doesn't decide it's time to move now. I don't like this Paladin. I don't like this stoic individual here. He scares me. Oh, there's a Guiding Ring on this guy. We can't interact with that, but that's kind of cool. Oh, this guy only has 19 speed. Wait, that's so much worse. There's no way I double, yeah, unfortunately. Don't want to do that. Sell her Wade slash Florina. I mean, at this stage, I think so. I think it's more likely that in the end, um, Cormeg or more than likely, uh, Ephraim is gonna be that, but at the moment, definitely. 
Sure, maybe we crit or something, who knows? I can always Excalibur if I need to. Dude, I gotta say, Erica is coming up clutch. I don't know how she's dealing this much damage to these enemies, but the fact that she deals 18 damage to this dude with 100 hit is kind of crazy. Unfortunately, that's not enough to kill. Wait, do I have to Excalibur? I need, um... Shoot. And Natasha can always kill if we need to, I suppose. Let's do that. I did mention this earlier though, the a lot of the pre-promotes in this game actually have like pretty good growth. Now obviously our salad has been extremely blessed. You don't normally get one this good, but um, they do have pretty solid growth. I remember it when I was a kid, when I was a kid because the Tower of Velna is in this game and the ruins and everything, I would like grind the hell out of units even after they got promoted. And I was always pretty impressed with the uh, with the pre-promotes. I was pretty happy with how, how much they scaled. Plus 25 crit? Holy fuck. Kinda nuts. Okay, so if this guy attacks Erica, can he kill her? Nope. Okay, then we should be good. I'm just curious when this guy moves. Like, I'm really nervous that he's just gonna move all of a sudden and kill me. I don't like it when units don't move. It's not right. That noise. That's weird. Uh, yeah, if you wanna lure out that guy, and who knows, maybe the paladin decides now's the time. Oh, now we're moving. Okay. If it would come now, Seth, he's either gonna die or become, or be double evil or something. That's funny. I think the fact that Orson was like evil, um, made me think that Seth probably wasn't. But yeah, you never know. I definitely didn't think that Orson was gonna be evil when I first played this game, but I never gave any experience to pre-promotes anyways, so, you know, no skin off my back. All right, that looks pretty good. I don't mind giving this to Ephraim if I can. What level's Ephraim? 17. Actually, Cormac getting kills right now is probably the most valuable thing because as many, as many little stat boosts as we can get for the next chapter is really valuable. Eventually, it will be uh, Ephraim's opportunity, because in the end, he's going to be like my carry, probably, but... But two sets, yeah. In retrospect, if, if I were to play this game, like, nowadays... Oh yeah, I would definitely think something was up. E either Orson or Seth were going to be evil or die 100%, but... I mean, Sacred Souls was, like, the first Fire Emblem game I ever played, so <laughs> it, was, it was hard for me to understand even what that meant when I was a kid. I didn't even understand how the game worked. But yeah, this game this game is pretty obvious with that. Somebody's gotta be evil. They don't just give you two jaggins. At least not intentionally. Technically in Final 7 you can kinda have two jaggins, but you need to do that in kind of a roundabout way. Uh, I would love to kill both these guys. Is it dude if you know what we can do, actually? Because I can do this. Wait, no, this. Yeah, and then this. Him giving away his Elfire has actually been so annoying. Because I've needed it so much. He's like just short of killing so many different units. Now, the nice thing, too, is that this, uh, this isn't obviously a good thing in general, but... There is some upside to our team being extremely small, and the upside is our experience is very, like, focused. You know what I mean? Like, like all of our experience is going to be going to a very select few units, which means, hypothetically, there are advantages to that because those units will be higher level than if you were spreading around experience more judiciously. And with level ups like that, I mean, come on. I kind of wish Natasha would get a little bit more speed, because she, she can't really double a lot of the really fast units. Uh, sure. Looks pretty good. Murr's gonna be cranked. Murr, I think Murr will be good. Problem with Murr, of course, is that her, uh, ooh, you can get to me, but... He was actually pretty good, so I'm not worried about that. Problem with Murr is, is as I've been saying, her, uh... 
Dragonstone is a... Uh, I don't... You can't hammer in the Dragonstone, right? I don't even when you get hammer, to be honest. But I do think she's gonna be... She's gonna be useful for sure. Wait. Can Eclipse even do anything to a one health unit? How does that work? Like, if that would have hit, would it have killed the Phantom? That's interesting. 50 cannonballs, a lot of cannonballs, very true. You do need to spend some of those cannonballs getting her uh, to a certain point, but... Hey, was not Renak, that is very true. Okay, so we don't have access to that anymore. I'm just kind of assuming any kind of like cool item that we could potentially utilize is lost to the void at this point. Oh, what is the glitch repair? I didn't even know it was a thing. I feel like I maybe have heard of that before, but yeah, I'm not super familiar with the glitch repair. Well, I wish we could do that. I mean, I probably wouldn't do that anyways, but... Uh, can you not kill one of these guys? Maybe lightning? Perfect. Okay, <laughs> never mind. You're just gonna kill him anyways. Oh, I guess I, I, guess I didn't realize that um, they had effective damage against Murr either, to be honest. Now that I think about it. Just like a one kill for me in the Darkling Woods, that's kinda sad. Feels bad, man. 50 use monster slaying? Yeah. That's a good way to look at her. I mean, that's basically what she is. How much defense do you have? 18? My goodness. I guess I'm hitting with a lot of magic, that's why it looks pretty good. Even though it's, you have a lot of defense. Alright, Vinya, yeah, sounds good. Enjoy your uh, enjoy your D&D session. And enjoy the rest of your night. The boots, the Eclipse Tome. I, we have the body ring, Genesis. We got the body ring. But yes, we are missing the boots, the tome, and the... Well, I guess both tomes, but yeah. Yeah, one is one's over here, one's up here, and I think one's over here. I'm going to wait until I kill all the units of the Volter to, uh, to do that, but yeah. This part than the... Yeah, that, that's the thing is I usually try to... Because on the Orson chapter, um, there are uh, just like wall-to-wall -wall promoted units. So I usually try to give her a couple of levels on that chapter and then you can really go crazy you can also do a lot with her on the um, on the gorgon chapter potentially but you gotta be a little careful i really want to know if this eclipse would do anything to this phantom like what the fuck because it's it's rounded up isn't it or is it rounded down like i don't think eclipse can kill at one hp but i could be wrong about that d and is cool. I never played D&D myself, but I think it's pretty neat. I did play that Baldur's Gate game that uh, came out not too long ago. I don't, I don't know how close exactly that is to D&D, but it was pretty fun. But those can't kill- that's what I thought! So this guy- <laughs> this guy's just doing nothing! Even if he hits, it wouldn't kill him. This guy's actually just Omega throwing. Run it down. Oh, but it deals. Oh, so he can kill if it actually hits. I mean, the percentage is three, but uh... ah, interesting. Okay, so he is at least trying to accomplish something. <laughs> Bitter rules, drink potions. Oh, that's right, because it's a bonus action, right? I gotta say, I I really enjoyed that game, but man. It, that game, I think if you I think if you play D&D, you probably would understand a lot of the rules just like right off the bat. But man, there are some, like for me at least, complicated to systems going on in that. It took me like a lot of my playthrough with my friends to uh, understand a lot of what was going on, even by the end. I kind of want to see this guy kill uh, the Phantom, to be honest. Well, the nice thing is that this guy doesn't have two range, so we can kind of just kill him at our own leisure. Which is a house rule for years. That seems seems good. I mean, I don't know anything about the game really, but 
That's one of the things I think is cool about D&D is you can just house rule. It's kind of like, uh, I play a lot of Magic and there's a format called EDH and you can, like you don't really need to house rule much, but you can, you can house rule whatever you want when you're just playing with your friends, which is fun. Anybody like not double this guy so I can get it for somebody else? Perfect. Yeah, I think D&D is cool. I've just never really had any friends that were uh, that into it. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, we should give this to somebody else. Nah, that's not worth it. Now nah, let's just give it to Cormeg. Give me to Cormeg's probably right anyways. It's pretty valuable. Shadowrun and Seventh C. Are those like uh, like tabletop games like D&D? I'm assuming. It's just kiss chaos. So Cormac got another speed level up, which is actually pretty valuable. If Cormac wants to just keep getting speed, I'm, I'm all here for it. I kind of wish he'd get some skill. It's weird that I'm asking for skill. I almost never do, but skill would actually go a long way with him. To be honest. Okay. Okay, well, we're looking pretty good as far as the chapter goes. Shorter's Magical Cyberpunk, Seven Fantasy Piracy. Ah, I see. There's an emphasis on roleplay. They're played relatively similar, or largely similar? Okay, that sounds pretty cool. The Fantasy Piracy sounds pretty neat. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. I heard about this one game once. That's like a role-playing game like that. I think it's like a Wild West type game and you use, instead of rolling dice, you use like cards or something. I don't really know anything about it, but it sounded pretty cool. I mean, I didn't really understand it, but uh... It's a dead IP? Ah, oh, that sucks. That's always the worst when you, when you, you like, you find a certain, like, thing that you really enjoy and then, yeah, it ends up, it ends up dying. That's a bummer. Okay, so there's pretty much only Volter left. Now the question of course is who can fight Volter? Um, I don't know if everybody was here, but this Volter does have capped <laughs> strength, so he's pretty scary, if we're being honest. That's not gonna work. I get double no matter what? How fast is he? 23 speed! All right, this is gonna, I think, Cormac doesn't get doubled. Dude, actually, wait, Cormac fighting Volter might be pretty, uh, pretty awesome, to be honest. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, the rest of, okay, the rest of the system's rolling. I was wondering how that would work. I just thought it was interesting. Okay, so there are three, there are three more items we want to get. One is back here. Here, Phantoms, you can start fighting Volter. Maybe I need to get him to, I have no use uh, for those, for these bloodless minnows. You know, talk to my Phantoms that way. You know what? I kind of wish that I was counting all the phantom deaths and I could like add them up. Who is the Hoplin Guard right? Oh, I think it's still Erica. Okay, well, you guys are not going to be useful. I need to get the Hoplin Guard. Should grab that. Theater. It's all kind of odd to me. Yeah, it seems weird. I, I don't know that much about that space, obviously, but uh, it seems kind of interesting to me. I suppose the system at which you're doing it isn't like as crucial as uh, as just doing like the role playing or whatever. But I guess it depends on what you're into. Like if you're more into the gameplay or into the role playing. I feel like that's what I would struggle with. The role playing. That's why I like Baldur's Gate, because there's there's like physical, not physical, but there's stuff in front of you, you know, as opposed to just like using your imagination, I guess. Okay, nice. Uh, and then we'll keep summoning back here. 
Yeah, Cormac can do the job. The, the, oh, cool. Okay. So that's all the items. Oh no, they still have to get their item up here. Now, the other thing is we could just get the spear to exhaust. And if we get the spear to exhaust, um, then we can, uh, then we can just attack him at range and we don't have to worry about that. But also the Hoplin Guard Cormeg can, can very much work. We have that Natasha support. Also, it means we can heal Cormeg without having to rescue drop. Oh my God, that is such a broken Cormeg. What the fuck? Rippling is very hard for me. Yeah, that that's always, I feel like that's always been my barrier. I would have a really hard time, I think, doing that. Sort of sit around and discuss the plot. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think it could work. I, I definitely think I could, I could do it. I just, I guess that's the thing that I would think would, I would struggle with the most, but. Stay focused, yeah. I have a friend who's kind of like that. He's tried D&D &D before, and he was basically in a pretty similar boat. Okay, so I do have crits. Not that one, because I get doubled. Mm, we could try crit. All right, I think I'm just going to wait until I can... You know, we, we've gone this far cheesing. We may as well continue to cheese. Lucky. Oh my God, I'm locked. I'm locked. I am uber locked. I'm gonna get him to use his spear because once the spear is gone, it's gonna be a lot less. We have to worry a lot less, so. Plus such an adventure with no roleplay, yeah. I feel like in a way that would almost defeat the purpose though, but I guess if you struggle with it, then you know, is what it is. But yeah, I mean, that's the nice thing about D&D &D or any of those games, right, is like, you're just playing it with your friends, so you get to decide. Again, I mentioned I mentioned uh, a certain about uh, um, commander and magic before, but that's kind of how that works. Like, you get to decide with your play group how the game kind of functions, and if you don't like something or like something, you can you know emphasize it or de-emphasize it. Just wants to kill and loot. Yeah, that makes sense. And I feel like that's where some of the struggle would be, is some people would want to roleplay and some people wouldn't, and you'd have some tension there, but, you know, as long as you're friends and everybody's an adult, you can obviously figure things out. I feel like I would never want to, um... <laughs> I have friends I've like commander with that I absolutely detest. Really, Matt? Really? That's, that's interesting. Well, that's pretty sad. I think you should probably, um give them more of a chance. In fact, I think maybe, Matt, you should play Commander with them uh, pretty soon and, and maybe you'd enjoy it, you know? That's just my opinion though, you know, I don't know anything about your situation, but I think you might enjoy that. Always uses Mudkip cards as tokens? Who would do that? Who likes Mudkips? God, the worst Pokemon. Actually the worst. Dude, that Phantom just dealt damage to Volter, by the way. It doesn't matter, but can we just take a minute and appreciate the effort that that uh, phantom just put in? Because that was kind of amazing. All right, we can we can start dealing some damage now. If you place one built in Terra City, that's role playing. That's true. I feel like that's the that's the fun part, you know. And that was the really fun part about um, Boulder's Gate when playing through it was like. You encounter these, it feels like you get to decide, like you have so much onus over the plot. And in, in real life, obviously you would have even more than you would even have in a video game like Baldur's Gate. But that's part of, I think, what was so enjoyable about it. Is it was really up to you. What now, Cormac? Have you betrayed your oaths and your emperor? I have. I can no longer serve Grotto. But I must know the truth, Walter, and you will tell me. You're the one who murdered my brother, aren't you? Hmm. No reason for lies, seeing as you're nothing but a traitor. You're right, Cormeg. I was the one who cut down your brother. He was just like you, a weak, pitiful fool. <laughs> He's going insane. Why, why do you laugh, dolt? How can I not? I've dreamt of revenge, chased it for days, and now it's here before me. Oh, Volter, your death will be slow and agonizing. God damn. Uh, that was not a great start if you're trying to uh, convince him of that. You <laughs> just get warped. Not just two games, three games. Um, because I never get warp in uh, Farm Six either. <laughs> so this is just a complete warpless uh, GBA uh, run. 
<laughs> Apparently I just never get warp, period. Who needs warp anyways? That thing sucks. Didn't play Baldur's Gate, no, nobody played with me. That was kind of my barrier. I'm not really sure that I would have played Baldur's Gate if I didn't have friends that wanted to play. I mean, I'm sure it can still be fun, but there's so much like micromanaging in it. Which, to be fair, as someone who loves Fire Emblem, and there's a lot of micromanaging in Fire Emblem, I guess I shouldn't complain, but yeah, that was definitely a big barrier for me. I ended up playing with two friends, so I, I did manage one of the NPCs throughout the playthrough, but it wasn't too bad. But I can imagine. Yes, there we go. All right. Uh, uh, bye. Is the GM I never get to play? I feel like that's another one of my like barriers. If I had a friend that was like a really good GM and wanted to do it, I feel like it's hard to find a GM, you know? Which kind of sucks, because then like you said, you probably get like cast as the GM and you never get to play it. But... Warp DN, nice, nice. Brother, Erica. Oh, Ephraim, I've missed you so, and I've missed you. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you safe. Oh, I almost forgot, I have something to give you. What are these? These are called Sacred Twins. We took them, we took these relics, relics from Grotto. The Dark Tome, I can't talk, the Dark Tome Glyphnir? No, gl Glypnir? Glyphnir? Gl Glypnir? I don't know. And the Black Axe Gorm, that one I know how to pronounce. I doubt either of us uh, can use them, but why not see if one of your companions can use them? They might have better luck. They're from Grotto? Does this mean Grotto Keep has fallen? Yes, I conquered the capital and defeated Emperor Vigard. But still, Erica, may I make a suggestion? We've been able to join forces here, so how about if we get uh, together and trade information? There are people on both sides uh, waiting after all. We got Glyphnir or Glypnir, um, which could potentially be used by, uh, what's his face? And the Garm could also potentially be used. Doesn't think we should play uh, Baldur's Gate. I, I do like Baldur's Gate. It was a lot. I don't know if I'd ever want to play it again. It, it was fun, but it's, it's quite the commitment. I mean, there's it, it is a very long game. Most useless divine weapon. Is it really bad? I'm kind of curious. I don't know what Ewan's dark magic is at the moment, but... You should play Paranoia. Par paranoia? Paranoia? Why does it not sound right coming out of my mouth? I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. It sounds weird. Sounds a little funky. Who gets the swift soul? That is a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I see unfamiliar faces among you here. So allow me to introduce myself. I am Ephraim, Erica's brother and crown prince of Renai. I'm Princess La Rochelle of Roston. The pleasure is mine, of course. Get these people off the screen, okay? They are dead. Why are we talking to Natasha or Cormeg? I'll begin by telling you uh, of how um, we've fared in our mission. We seized the gro- I can't talk, apparently. We seized the grotto capital and defeated her emperor. Vigard. Grotto's capital guard have, to a man, surrendered and laid down their arms. Pockets of resistance remain, but the war itself is over. Is that so? However, something remains that still bothers me. A grotto man named Noel told me about something called a dark stone. Their mages had uncovered lore that led them to craft a powerful magic stone. This dark stone may have been the catalyst of Grotto's transformation. It seems to be the source of that black wave of energy Murr described. Vigard died some time ago, but the power of the stone played him like a puppet. The war and everything that passed since was planned by the Dark Stone's master. Well, who is it? I still can't believe it, but I'll tell you nonetheless. According to Noel, the man behind this is Lyon, the Imperial Prince. He said Lyon's got the Dark Stone. Figures it's Prince Lyon. No, that doesn't make any sense. Ephraim and I uh, know Lyon better than that. We've been friends for years. Lyon's not the sort of person who can who could start a war like this. But Erica, I saw Lyon recently. Ephraim, you might know this, but after I abandoned the sea route to Roston. I traveled overland with Prince Innes to Jehenna. We ran into trouble with Grotto's forces and I ch and I chanced upon Lyon. He didn't share the details of the situation, uh, but he intimated uh, that he was on our side. Despite all appearances, he was on our side. So Lyon, Erica, I also met Lyon. Did you really? Yes, but he was like a completely different person. To be honest, he didn't seem to be completely human. Ephraim, what are you saying? I'll tell you what I saw. I found uh, Lyon inside the Grotto's keep. This is what he told me. He said he was, um, he said he was behind this war. He said he's befriended us solely that one day he could evade Renai. He told us he killed our father. That, that can't be. I know. I can't believe it either. I refuse to believe it. 
How could he have planned all this uh, since he was a child? I simply can't fathom it. I've heard Lyon change uh, when he acquired the Dark Stone. I have no interest in magic, but there was something uncanny about him. It seemed almost as if, uh, almost as though he were being controlled by something, um, something else. I don't know. The two of us might uh, find this hard to accept, but the state of Prince Lyon's heart matters little. He has the Dark Stone. The rock is the cause of all that's happened. The prince must be stopped. Not yet. There is something we need to do first. Larishel? Uh, Prince Ephraim, I do believe you felt it as well. The Dark Stone held by Prince Lyon, it exudes malefic miasma. <laughs> Malef malefic miasma. We might be able to handle Prince Lyon alone, but the, sto the stone is beyond our ken. Then what do you suggest? The Sacred Stones. Sacred Stones? We've all heard the legend of the five Sacred Stones. They alone possess the power to seal the Demon King away for forever. So, of course, the to dispel demonic magic, we must use the Sacred Stones. You expect us to pin the outcome of this war on the some fool legend? Larishal, I think I think it's pretty uh, clear that that's not a legend at this point. Not just a legend, we also have hope. According to Lyon, he's already seen to the destruction of Grados, Frelias, and Johanna's stones. Hmm, that explains something. Grados forces attacked me, intent on destroying the Stone of Renai. If that could be the reason they chose to invade Renai, the power of the sacred stones may be greater than we'd ever known. Yes, exactly. If we acquire a sacred stone, we'll be able to oppose the Dark Stone's might. But three of the stones have already been shattered, and our options are few. Do you suppose that during the invasion of Renai... No, I don't think so. The Stone of Renai is hidden by the power of Erika's and I and my bracelets. Grotto has made many attempts to take our bracelets. Everyone has failed, and so the stone may still be safe. We have to confirm that, of course. We've defeated Grotto, and we must turn our eyes to our homeland. It's time to return to Renai. Renai is a game where you backstab each other and drink. It's in the rules. I mean, that sounds pretty dope. That sounds pretty cool. I like games like that. Um, yeah, I like board games like that. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, it's not effective against monsters? That's weird. Yeah, it sounds pretty ass. MM for short. Malefic ma Miasma. <laughs> Lady, Lady Murr, Salad. I'm grateful to see you well. The people of Kaer Palin will be overjoyed that you're safe. I must apologize to you, Salad. You were there to protect me for the very start of my journey. When we were attacked, I was separated from you, and I'm so sorry to have worried you. Lady Murr, as long as you are safe, uh, we have nothing to be worried about. It is my honor to serve you until our mission your mission is complete. Thank you, Salad. Ruled by Madness. It's against the rules for people to know, for players to know the rules of paranoia, though. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, okay. So, we didn't fail. Uh, this run is still alive. Somehow. Discord game night? That just sounds pretty fun, to be honest. Maybe one day. Uh, Dazla. We need to get Dazla's picture. This is where I'm gonna end the stream for today. Apparently, we're just, we can't do anything more than one chapter a day. This is a weird picture of Dazla. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Did you read the rules? He's a mutant! I knew it. I knew it. Nobody knows that much about Fire Emblem. I knew it the whole time. Uh, okay, where's Dazla? Now, where do we put Dazla? Yeah, I think I'm, like, uh, like Matt said earlier, I think I'm gonna put him over the, uh, the deaths. I think we all know what this line of characters are. I don't think we need that anymore. Someone else read the rules and put them on the internet? Likely story. Likely story. Um, okay. So, yeah, not too bad. Obviously losing, um... Free computer wouldn't allow a leak. Yeah, that's the Halloween Dazzler. He has, like, uh, like the thing on... Like, he's Frankenstein's monster. It's the only heroes one they have. Okay, so, um, the next chapter is a little funky because as I was explaining, it's pretty straightforward, but the thing that really scares me is we start to get into a ton of uh, pre-promotes, like promoted units. There's a bunch of them on that chapter. Um, in fact, I think like six are so great. Yeah, it looks like six great knights show up. I don't know how strong great knights are. We haven't seen a um, great night yet, but you know an awful lot about the rules, about what's happening to people who know the rules. 
It is true. <laughs> I'll miss you too, Acorn. Uh, okay. So yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. What is it, Wednesday today? Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll do that. Hopefully that chapter won't go too poorly. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to start to get into some really, really sketchy chapters. Um, yeah. So anyways, thanks everybody for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your nights, everybody.